Okay, as I promised, we are finishing up on this, not exactly sure what year it is, I think it's a 57, bubble window Z mold, I said, it's a beautiful car. What makes it really special is the bubble window. Most I said is have sliding glass on the side here and they have a really small rear window. I can show you really quick the difference. See that one right there? See that small rear window? And the sliding glass? This one doesn't have it. It's pretty rare. Well, I should say it's rarer. I'm not sure exactly how rare it is. Like one tenth of the ice that is produced were bubble windows. <clears throat> so the only ventilation you get with this car is through these little corner windows, little triangle glasses, which don't scoop air in. They just kind of let air go in like that and the top. So on a hot day, I would prefer to drive a slider window where the whole glass opens up. Anyhow, these are much more pleasing to look at. And this one is the Z-Mold. And what I mean by that is it has this beautiful stainless steel trim that runs along and it makes a little Z, a little zig right there. So again, this is a 57, I believe. Oh, excuse me, 58, it's right there on the license plate. I was close. Z-Mold, I said, uh, and we're gonna take it for a drive, but I just wanted to point out some of the accessories on this car. One is the Z-Mold that you saw, or I just explained to you, the little zig, two-tone paint, the interior luggage rack, and mud flaps with stone guards. Pretty trick. And while we're down here, I want to show you this. I just noticed this. Muffler. So, probably, oh, it looks like a muffler. What's interesting about this, I said a muffler, is if you can see the downpipe right here, it comes down, it goes into like a glass pack, and then the dual exhaust tips Oop, it's hot. Come out of the front of the glass pack. The tips are completely exposed all the way to the end. Most I said of mufflers, are, that's all encased. And this one sounds a little different. It's more of a raspy, throaty, kind of a European tuner noise. So that's interesting. I just noticed that. That's I've never seen before. It's probably a rare option. So we just got this car going. It's been here a few months. It had a broken post in the Dynastart, as well as a multitude of just annoyance things. Rattles and uh, the steering was really stiff. I had to re-grease the steering box and adjust that. And the brakes needed some adjustment, some fine tuning. So if you look close, as I always do, I put my now well-used camera mount in the window there, and we're gonna take it for a drive. You want to come along for a drive in this 1958 special Isetta bubble window Z-Mold? All right, let's quit talking. Let's go for a ride. Well, hello. Welcome back. It's good to see you. So we are inside this 1958 bubble window Isetta, and we're going to go for a drive. Now, there's one thing. This car seems to have more drone than most other Isetta, so I really hope you can hear me. The sport muffler and or the little stiffer motor mounts contribute to that, so I'm gonna to try to speak up during our drive. I wanna show you a couple things. If you notice, you can see down here, the shifter's off to the left, so you probably won't be able to see me shift. My body's gonna block that, but uh, let's go for a ride, see what happens. So uh, when you get into an Isetta, obviously you open the door, you slide over, you pull the door shut, and you give it a, a good pull like that, and you pull out your cigarette, and you start smoking. No, just kidding. Don't do that, kids. Don't get started. Uh, you slide over here, get your foot on the clutch, shifter, brake off, give it a little tickle, and it starts up. Can you hear that? Oh, camera's a wiggling. So I really hope this video comes out. This car uh, is a little different than some of the others. Let's go for a little drive. There we go.
Ah, what a nice day. This is a beautiful car. vibrating there so I hope you're not getting all shook up. So here we are back at the barn. I saw the camera vibrating a lot, so I, I hope this video came out. <laughs> I never know how these are gonna go. So I hope you enjoyed coming along for a ride. It's a little humid today, so I got a little, little air in. But uh, thanks for coming along for a ride in this beautiful little, I said, let's see if I can hold the horn for you. Isn't that cool? <laughs> All right, thanks for the drive.